video, we will be making this color your own bear out of a gym sock. This bear is a super fun way to express your coloring skills, but please remember that even though this bear looks like a toy, it's not. It's an arts and crafts project and should not be given to babies, small children, or pets. With that in mind, let's get started by reviewing the supplies and tools we'll need. A gym sock, cotton balls, mini elastic bands, scissors, and fabric markers. Step one, tie off the ears. Take a cotton ball and hold it in your fingertips tightly as you slide your hand all the way into your sock. When you get to the end, position the cotton ball on one side, right where the seam is. Take your other hand and firmly grasp the cotton ball while you pull your first hand out. Then take an elastic band and tie it around the ball. Make sure it's holding tight and repeat on the other side of the seam to make two ears. Step two, stuff the head. With the ears in place, take a big handful of cotton balls and gently stuff the head. Try not to push too hard into the ears so that you don't accidentally push the rubber bands off. Add more cotton balls until the head has a nice brown shape. Step three, tie off the head. Take another elastic band and pull the open end of the sock through until you reach the head. You do not need to wrap it around twice. This part can stay nice and loose. Step four, tie off the arms. Position the arm cotton balls on the sides of the bear a little bit down from the neck and tie them off tightly. Make sure they line up with the ears and that the heel of the sock is facing towards you. Step five, stuff the body. Stuff the sock with more cotton balls to create a big plush body. Keep stuffing until you reach the heel and then stop. Step six, tie off the legs. Take two more cotton balls and tie off the legs. You'll want to position these a little bit more towards the front because the next step is going to pull them back out. Step seven, tie off the tail and trim. Push the cotton ball stuffing back into place and tie off the end of your sock into a long tail. Using a pair of heavy duty scissors, cut off the end of the sock. Remember to always use scissors safely. This step may need to be done by a grown up. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Then add a second elastic band and trim off the excess of the tail. Step eight, draw the face and color. Give your bear a face by using a fabric marker to draw two circles for eyes, a flat oval nose, and then a mouth by making a big letter U going one way and then another letter U going the other way. Then color the rest of your bear however you want. You can draw patterns like hearts or clouds and flowers. You can even use your bear to write messages. You can make as many bears as you want. There's no limit to your imagination. 